Hello everyone, it's Yolanda Renee and this is the Bex vlog. We're kicking this vlog off with my trip to Charlotte and that's Devin making sure I made it okay. But yeah, let's get started. Hey guys, so I'm in Charlotte right now and I wasn't going to vlog at first but this hotel was kind of nice. So I was like, this is some nice like backdrop for us. But yeah, so I'm about to chill for a second finish editing a vlog that should have been up like last week and um what else was I gonna do edit and just chill and then oh and then um my friend my friend Noelle lives here in Charlotte so she's coming to pick me up and we're gonna like hang out I'm so excited I haven't seen her in forever we used to be like so close in high school um so yeah my hotel trying to make plans with my friend should I take my hat off been traveling this travel was not so bad though oh I think I need to wipe my screen okay so my friend Noelle is texting me right now we're trying to figure out where we're going to eat all right, she said downtown is like 20 minutes from you. I live about 30 minutes from downtown. So you are the north side, I'm the south side. Downtown is kind of in the middle. How old are they? <laughs> My friend Noelle said, how old are they, 80? <laughs> Who goes to dinner at five on a Friday night? Don't tell them I said that. <laughs> She just texted me. She said six thirty. Hey, y'all can go So yeah, so my flight was good. I didn't vlog. Um, I didn't vlog my flight because I vlogged my flight when I went to Atlanta. So I was like, there's no point in having like the same exact footage because it was the same thing. Like I left from Salisbury, came to Charlotte, and that's where I am now. I may like just reuse the footage though, just to give it. I don't know. I like my vlogs to be vlogs, but I also like to like paint a picture for you guys so if I'm at the airport I want you guys to see and feel everything that's happening you know what I mean um but anyway I'm about to finish editing when I'm not vlogging, I'm literally on Snapchat like all the time. So please follow me on Snapchat if you miss these vlogs being posted daily. I will try to keep them um, once a week though, but you know, follow us on Snapchat. You'll love it. Again, this is the Charlotte stop and I didn't vlog this stop because I vlogged in Atlanta so I did get a lot of good snaps of um, this tour stop it was so much fun um, a lot of people came out I was really shocked at the crowd in Charlotte because I had no idea I had people who watched me in Charlotte I don't know it's just so random um, but special thanks to everyone who came out we have two more stops 
um, one in Randallstown, Maryland, and then one in Washington, D.C. That is on February 4th and 5th. Um, let me get it together. Okay, so on February 4th is Randallstown, Maryland. February 5th is Washington, D.C. I will put all of the address, time, info, everything in the description box. If I forget, let me know, okay? Just to give you an idea of what kind of event this is, it's an in-store event where you just come up, we, you know, chat, ask me any questions, take pictures, and you get a free sample bag from Palmer's. Um, so don't expect anything like a full, like, three-hour event. It's not like that. It's like a come in, stop by, meet me and the fam. Yes, everyone's going to be there this weekend. So definitely come see us. We're back home and immediately Devin had an appointment to get a new tattoo from a tattoo artist in our hometown. His name is Greg and he works at Crucial Tattoo. But while he is doing that, I am going to stay home and I have to film this video, which you guys probably already seen by now, but this will be some of the behind the scenes. But I'm going to let Devin take over at the tattoo shop. I was real excited to get Greg to finish up my sleeve. Uh, he did the tattoo for my mom. He did the the portrait of my mom. So um, it's always it's always a good time, even though it hurts a lot. But um, I was excited to get the rest of my alpha tat done. Greg does stellar work. He's been the black ink. Um, I think he was gonna do Ink Master or something like that. But before he blows up, I told him he he need to do all the ink on my arm. <laughs> While Devin is getting that tattoo, I'm at home filming for my first wig. Y'all, this hair, this Girl, you need to stop it. <laughs> the tutorial for this um, footage has already been put up. If you haven't seen it, definitely click here so you can go watch it. But finish watching the vlog though, y'all. <laughs> I be, yo, I just be tripping in the house filming these videos. I think it's so funny to show you kind of like the behind the scenes. So I'll continue to put that in the vlogs. But I literally be tripping. Like, so yeah, I'm still not 100% comfortable doing these um, types of videos just yet. But I'm getting better. I have a huge wig collection. And I'm so excited about that. So now that I have all of the wigs I wanted, now I'm going to start giving them away because I don't need any more wigs. Trust me. I'm going to show you my collection. It's crazy. Like this video if you want me to do more wig tutorials. I have so many to show you. So I hope you guys are interested. Today, we're about to go into Crucial right now. It's called Crucial Tattoo. 
and we're gonna meet the artist Greg. He's from this area. We're in Maryland, obviously. Um, so we're gonna meet him and see how, what he's doing. I'm gonna try to convince them to let me get like a little hand tattoo or something, like maybe like something right here to, or maybe on this hand since I have this. But anyway, let's go. Devin and I came separately, so his car is right there. I'm using my car as a driver. At this point, I think it's like the third hour. Your body starts getting tired. You start breaking down. I'm trying to eat. I'm hungry. Yogi's asking me questions. I'm not trying to answer nothing. I'm in pain. But uh, we we went Facebook Live on this. We went Instagram Live just to show people the work that they do. Um, I asked him about tattooing black skin, and he was telling me the difference about that. Um, it's harder to for the color to show up, so that's why they do a lot of gray or black and white on our skin. We wanted to stay with the same theme. Um, he put an Nefertiti on the inside of my arm. He put a, uh, a sconce on the outside of my arm, which uh, I think it, it represents new life and uh from the memorial tattoo i have of my mother the the new life and then nefertiti and the sphinx and the test of a man it's just a testament to everything that i've been through in my life yolanda being my queen uh me out here kinging and i'm big on having tattoos with meaning um i don't just want to put a whole bunch of stuff on my body that doesn't really mean anything or doesn't really tell a story and I think Greg did a fantastic job of bringing this whole tattoo to life he brought new life to my old alpha tattoo that I already had and this will be something that's just going to stand the test of time me putting the test of man on my arm as a testament to everything I've been through in the last couple of years so it's just, it's just exciting to get this kind of stuff done. Uh, I've been trying to do it for a long time. It was painful, though. <laughs> Definitely check my face out. <laughs> I'm almost done he's got a couple more things to do but for more of Greg's work please go check him out at Tattoo Greg on Instagram his work is crazy if you're in the Maryland area definitely set up an appointment and hit him up he's the man shout out Greg I'll see y'all in a little bit Um, Devin's tattoo a few days later starting to like get all dry and peel and ugh gross <laughs> trying to watch the Pro Bowl she wants to film me talking about this um, 
tattoo, so I'm going to do it. So, fellas, hold me down in the comment section. Let her know that when football's on, we really don't want any bother. We just, you know, we, we just want to, we just want to watch. But I'm going to talk to y'all because I like y'all. The tattoo, it hurt. It was something I've been wanting to do for a while. And uh, Greg, follow Greg, uh, tattoo Greg. But um, he's a he's a excellent artist. So uh, I feel like before he blows up, like I want him to do all the ink now because when he blow up, like his price is probably gonna be astronomical. He did he did the uh, the tattoo of my mom. He did the the ink for my mom. So you know the rest of the tattoos that I get, that's what I want. I want him to do it. The part that hurt the most is my elbow and like the inside, like close to my underarm. That was different. What about your shoulder? Yeah, the bone on my shoulder. Like, yeah, I'm bony. Like people, somebody on my Snapchat was like, yeah, you need to go to the gym. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and it was a dude, right? Yeah, it was a, I think it was a dude. I don't know. You couldn't see his picture. Uh. Shout out to that guy. Really? Like we're gonna do this now? We're gonna do this now? Come on, man. Taylor, come get this. My food for thought for for this particular vlog. Um, I'm in the process of, well, my album is finished now, so um, my advice for anybody that's trying to accomplish anything or do anything, trust your process. Trust your process. Don't try to rush your process. Don't try to rush success. Like, everybody's timeline is different. So just do whatever you do on your time. Don't look at nobody else's timeline and try to figure out what they doing or how they doing what they doing. Just do what you do, focus on what you gotta focus on and things will work out. They always do. So don't try don't try to, uh, what they say, don't rush your come up. That's my message and that's for everybody, fellas, ladies, whatever you're trying to do and I'm not just talking rap or you're trying to be a YouTube, anything. Trust your process, trust your dopeness be confident in what you do. You don't have to knock nobody else in order to shine more. Like, that's so corny to me. Stop being corny. Don't try to knock somebody else to make yourself look better. Don't be corny. And, um, be great, man. Be good to people. Uh, like, with, with all this Trump stuff that I see and so much hatred that's spewed all the time, and y'all know I'm Mr. Positivity and all that, even though sometimes it is hard to be positive all the time. But, just try to be a good person. Like, I'm not, I mean, I, I'm obviously worried about what may happen in office, but what I can control from my end is just me being good to other people and teaching my girls how to be good people and respectable and all that. And that's it. Okay? So, I don't have that much else. Um, I'm watching the Pro Bowl. Still Redskins. Hail to the Redskins, all that. Um, put down in the comments who you think going to win the Super Bowl. I think the Patriots going to win. If anybody want to put any money on anybody else, let me know. It's like I ain't putting no money on that because I got scammed in the parking lot in VA, but we'll talk about that later. All right? So good to talk to y'all, man. It's always good to have these talks. You know what I mean? Uh, it's good to see y'all. And be great. See y'all next time. Thank you again for watching the vlogs. Shout out to everybody in Virginia that came out. That was great. Got to meet people and talk to people. That's good, man. So keep coming out. Keep supporting my, my better half because she's the greatest. Right now, I'm sending one of my records so I have to get somebody to do a hook for it. And this song is going to be incredible. I just put some. If we had the whole family in here, that would be more. Right. Always willing to deal. 
kissing. Can I see? <laughs> so nobody cares that Finn's eating their their slipper. It's not. So it's his slipper now. If he put it on his feet, though, that's it. <laughs> well, I don't care about it. Hey, you need a break from chewing stuff. You need to be free. You need to be free from chewing stuff. Just like somebody put it on her. Ben. 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 I can't even listen that fast. Oh, my God. Let me talk to you for a second. Quick question. Isn't it weird that you always want Chick-fil-A on Sundays? <laughs> Don't you find that a little weird? Why are they even closed on Sundays? I think Sundays? that's weird. Why are they closed on Sundays? I think it's like a religious thing. Why are they closed on Fridays? They don't close on Fridays. Sundays. I don't know. Yes. Did you guys have fun this weekend? I want to do another Q&A. So what was your favorite part about this weekend? Oh, my favorite part was the hotel. My favorite <laughs> the pantry. The yeah, pantry. my favorite part was the pantry, the hotel, and packing the stuff. <laughs> packing what stuff? Um, <laughs> excuse me. I'm keeping it in the vlog. <laughs> you mean your favorite part was packing to go to Virginia? Mm -hmm. Oh. And the hotel, the pantry, and turn down for meeting all the meeting Sabrina, all the <gasps> friends. And Sabrina. Meeting Sabrina. Everybody say hey to Sabrina. Uh -huh, Sabrina but so Sabrina. We love Sabrina. Oh, okay. hmm. But when she gave me her, she, she um, hugged me. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and she held me too tight. I couldn't even feel my back. <laughs> <laughs> a real hug sky that's a real I hug you guys want to hear something this is what's going to happen if you break something Ooh. <laughs> all right i can't even work okay hold on all right say goodbye say wait, goodbye to the wait, vlog wait leave in the comments below q a questions i'm going to do another q a and Make like and subscribe. Okay. Make sure, sure that um you tell us um if you came, tell us what was your favorite part. <sighs> good question or good response. <laughs> All right, everybody wave. Bye. Bye.